and welcome to the Scholars Learning Classes. I hope you have downloaded our Scholars Learning app. In this video, we will study about the two aspects of economics, that is your positive and normative. So before understanding what is positive and normative, let's take a simple example to it and let's understand. See, let us consider the two statements that is number one, higher tax on cigarettes causes people to smoke less. Why? Just because the heavy taxes will increase the price of the cigarettes and the people who are who cannot afford the cigarettes will not smoke. So higher tax on cigarettes causes people to smoke less. And the second is people should not smoke. Right? Now the first statement simply describes what happens if the tax is imposed on the cigarettes and how it happens. No opinion is expressed on smoking whether it is good or bad. In the first statement what we have shown that your taxes are imposed and your taxes is the cause that will reduce the smoke. So there is no judgment. Right? People should not smoke. So see this is your own perception. This is your own perception that the smoking is good or bad for them. Some people like smoking for them, it is good. But what is the truth? Smoking is injurious to health. So this is your value judgments. You make the judgment on the truths. So the second statement implies that smoking is bad. Therefore, people should not smoke. This is based on the value judgment that smoking is bad for health. So, in this, in the first, we have not taken any value judgment. We are just verifying the subject that is, your cigarette smoking has reduced just because of the higher taxes. So, this is your positive economics and this is your normative economics let's understand this with the other example number one statement we are taking the economics would suggest ways and means to solve the problem of poverty and unemployment in the country, right? Study the problems of poverty and unemployment. in the country see when they are studying a problem and its related issues which are subject to verification like the extent of poverty and unemployment we are referring to is positive economics what is the problem in the economics and what are the problems that are faced the economics are studying that particular problem that is of poverty and unemployment and the related issues with the poverty and unemployment are the subject so they are studying that particular subject so this is your positive economics because they have some facts and figures with them they are doing some experiments they are studying the matter so that is your positive economics the second thing we say is on the other hand 
when we are offering suggestions to solve the problem. See, when they study the particular problem and the related issues regarding the poverty and unemployment, then it is called as a positive economics. And when you are giving the solution to that particular problem, offering suggestions to the particular problem, which are not subject to the verification like for example the reservation jobs you have seen that government has given reservation to the various sections of the society in order to reduce the poverty so the offering your suggestions to solve the problem and it is not subject to verification that you have not verified this you are just offering a suggestion to it right that it refers to your normative economics. With these two examples, I've told you what is positive and normative economics. Now let's study the statement of positive and normative economics. See, the positive statement describes statement describes what is what was and what would be under the given set of circumstances with no value judgments is your positive economics. That's what is normative economics. Normative economics is It describes what ought to be the statements from provides value judgments value judgments. So this is the positive and economics. This is the normative economics. The difference between positive and normative number one is deals with what is, what was, deals with what ought to be second is no value judgments on the outcome see value judgments are made on the outcomes we have seen in this uh, examples previously of the cigarettes and poverty and uh, unemployment. The third one is verifiable from the facts. See, this is verifiable from the fact that if your uh, tax increases, you know, the price of cigarettes will increase and ultimately reduce the smoking. And the second example we did was the study of the unemployment and poverty. This is also verifiable by the facts. 
that you will study a particular area with the population and the unemployment and poverty in the particular population. So these are verifiable from the facts. But the solutions that you provide are not verifiable from the facts. Can you verify the solution from the fact? No, this is just the solution you have given. The effects of the solution will be seen afterwards, right? So this is the difference between a positive and normative economic uh, and you can also give the example in the fourth point of difference, right? I hope you have completely understood the difference between positive and normative economics. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.